I don't think I've got enough good words to say about BTME. I've been coming here since 1995. It brings everybody in the golf industry together, the networking, the friendships that you make, the people that you talk to, and, and it also means that everybody goes back at the start of the year inspired about what's to come. BTME and continue to learn uh, are really important to the RNA because without greenkeepers, there is no golf. This is an opportunity for us to bring together all of the stories, all of the areas of work that we have within our sustainable golf team, from championships to grassroots golf clubs, bring it together so that the industry can find out more and for us to engage better with our key stakeholders too. It's been absolutely brilliant. We've got a great opportunity to showcase what we do, showcase our expertise, showcase our people, showcase our trophies. To be able to have the AIG Women's Open Trophy and the Open Championship Trophy here on the stand is something that I just thought was fantastic. Above it all, the reason everybody comes here is to learn. It's called continue to learn for, for a very good reason. We've been able to use that facility to host panel discussions, climate discussions, and really kind of listen to people and also give our expertise and the platform to do that has been so successful. The RNA being a BTME, it demonstrates the collaboration with Bega, and that's a really important uh, partnership. Um, and it, yeah, we, we can't not be here. It's so important to us and it's important to Bega to work together. There's six agronomists plus some other colleagues as well, so to get together on an annual basis and be able to brainstorm and, and, and work together to understand what we're seeing out in the industry is great. Giving us the opportunity to showcase the collaboration with our SPB, the Environment Partnership, we're doing Sophie and our ecology stuff, so these guys are coming on our stand and it's great to interact with them. I'm working with the RNA at the moment on a five-year project looking into nature and biodiversity on golf courses, looking at the habitats that are supported on the golf courses and also the wildlife that lives there too, and understanding sort of the condition of those habitats and if we can make them better, then how do we do that? We hopefully get some really good stories about them and really change that perception outside of golf that, you know, golf can be good for nature. I think we've had a lot of people come on the stand and, and genuinely say, well, what, is the, what is the offer? What, what are you going to do and how are you going to support? So I think what's been brilliant is to be able to kind of tell everybody about what we're doing, whether it's championships or education, research. There's so many amazing things going on at the RNA and so many things that we're doing that is going to really benefit golf. And then driving that forward so that golf's going to be thriving in, you know, 50 years' time, which is what we all want. We all want to be in a place where golf is even better, you know, in the future than it is today. Our goal is to always advance and to support the industry and hopefully that key takeaway for people that we've met for the first time and people that we've known for many, many years is that we're doing more than ever before to help the golf course management industry.